Hi, this is Mariam from Crochet Chapel, and today we want to learn how to crochet this very beautiful off shoulder ruffle top. I use this yarn, and the amount you'll use depends on your size. And this is thin. 3mm crochet hook, yarn needle, and scissors. Let's get started. To begin, make a slip knot and make chains that can wrap around your bust. Minus 14 or 15 centimeters for back straps. So I'm done with chaining and I make my stitches in back loops of these chains. Start making double crochets in the second chain from the hook. My first double crochet in every row is one single crochet plus two chains or three single crochets inside each other. If you don't know how to crochet a double crochet at the beginning of the row, check basics playlist that I put the link in the description box. So this was my first double crochet and make a double crochet in every chain all across the row in back loops. At the end of the row, turn your project and make a double crochet in every stitch all across the row. As I told you, my first double crochet is a single crochet plus two chains or three single crochets inside each other. The last double crochet will go into the first double crochet of the previous row. Our first double crochet of every row is a single crochet plus two chains or three single crochets inside each other. You should make your last double crochet in that second chain or the third single crochet, like mine. And repeat this row until your project is 14 or 15 centimeters. I got my 14 centimeters and the next row will work on the sides. We don't work on here, but here. Make two double crochets in every space at the end of each row, right here, here, as you can see. Make two double crochets in every space. This is my first double crochet. And this is the second one. And make two double crochets in every space at the end of each row till the end. So I finished this row. Now turn your project and make one double crochet in every stitch. And make another row just like this, and you should have three rows of double crochets in total. And it's about three centimeters. Now turn your project and make a double crochet into the very first stitch.
chain three one two and three skip the next three stitches and make a double crochet into the fourth one one two three and into the fourth one make a double crochet chain three one two three skip the next three stitches and make a double crochet into the fourth one and repeat this process till the end of the row At the end of the row, I have one stitch left and I make my last double crochet into this last double crochet. And this is how it looks like. For the next row, turn your work and make a single crochet in every stitch and make three single crochets into every chain three space. At the end of the row, make your last single crochet into this last double crochet, which was three single crochets inside each other or one single crochet plus two chains. And this is how it looks like. At the end of the row, chain one and cut the yarn. Now for this side, do the same as you did in that side. 3 rows of double crochets and 1 row of double crochet, chain 3, skip 3 double crochets, make a double crochet into the 4th stitch and for the last row make a single crochet into every stitch and 3 single crochets into every chain 3 space. Exactly like this side. So I completed the other side and hide the tails at the back of your project back and forth. Now fold it in half and mark the middle stitch. With a marker or everything you have at hand. Now unfold it and fold the right side in half before these three rows of double crochets right here. Mark the middle stitch again. Unfold it. Now as you can see, one side is longer and one side is shorter. And this is where we want to form a triangle to cover the front. Remove this marker, which is near this short part. Insert your hook into this stitch. Now 
Grab your yarn and pull it through and chain one to secure and take this short tail along with you to hide it. Make a double crochet into the same stitch. and into every stitch until you reach the other marker. So I made my last double crochet into that marked stitch and remove the marker. Now we want to shape a triangle to cover the front part. This side that is near the longest part will be tapered up and the other side will be blunt to shape a triangle. For you to turn your project make a double crochet into the very first stitch. And we're gonna decrease the next two stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, the front loop of the next stitch, and into the next stitch front loop as well. Like this. Yarn over, pull it through the last loop. We have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull it through three loops. Yarn over, pull it through the last two loops and make a double crochet into every stitch to the end of the row. I finished the second row and as you can see this side which is near the longest part is going to taper up like this and the other side is going to be blunt. For row 3, turn your project and make a double crochet into every stitch until you have 3 stitches left. So I have 3 stitches left and I want to decrease the next 2 stitches. We are over, insert your hook into the front loop of the next, into the front loop of the next, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through 3, yarn over, pull through 2. And make a double crochet into the last double crochet. Like this, and this is how it looks like so far. This is the straight side, and this is where we're tapering it up. Row 4, turn the project and make a double crochet into the very first stitch. And decrease the next two stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook into the front loop of the next, into the front loop of the next, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through three, yarn over, pull it through two. And make a double crochet into every stitch to the end of the row. 